So this event is called Tech Warrior. It has been going on uh, now for, it's a 10 day event. We click south. We started uh, last week. Did he have his hand in his pocket? We're extending, we'll be through the end of this week, basically. We got two individuals in the picture. Doing uh, a uh, combat skills training and uh, immersion for scientists and engineers that are part of the Air Force Research Laboratory. Uh, directly confront this, over. A lot of our scientists and engineers have you know, not experienced what the operational environment looks like. What's the warfighter experience out in the field? And the idea is to create as close to a realistic environment as possible so that they can become better scientists and engineers, that they can see what it's like to walk in the shoes of the warfighter, that they can learn some of those basic things. What you're seeing right now, a typical United States Air Force convoy. We're not training for competency. We're really training in order to make them more familiar with what, what the warfighter goes through. I load planes personally, so I only get to see a very, very minimal amount, and it really helps to see the other side. Maverick, is that your gear right there? Yes, it is. Support I actually end up giving to the um, Army personnel and all the other infantrymen and and Marines that are out there actually out doing the patrols. We have personnel walking on the right. We are experiencing um, incoming convoys, um, foot patrol. We also have uh, civilians that we are dealing with, some hostile, some friendly. Uh, we have to be able to differentiate between the hostiles and friendlies that we do have. Put on your mom suits! When you've learned to carry equipment and gear and that wearing body armor and all these different things are not simple, you sit at the table as a scientist and design better equipment for that warfare. We have been doing NBC duty, so basically it's chemical warfare. Uh, we've been doing the whole gas mask and full chemical gear. We have two entry control points. In it really, to me, uh, shows what kind of capability the, the Dayton community, the Fairborn community can, can, can bring to the table in terms of being a national asset uh, for doing technology research and assessment. I would say that this would absolutely uh, demonstrate what a lifelike deployment would be. It's been a fantastic avenue for us. It's been a fantastic venue. Uh, the folks here at the National Center for Medical Readiness, the Calamity folks, have been absolutely uh, the, the greatest hosts. I, I, it's been uh, an exercise that has gone far beyond my expectations and what I thought we would be capable of doing.